G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now today I am going to do a 3D bloom for you in my lovely Mystique silicon tray mould. And I am going to use one of these holographic foils. Now I was totally inspired by Sunfire Designs on YouTube. Make sure you check out her channel. Hi, if you're watching, <laughs> loved your idea. Uh, she did um, like a white sticker. Um, I don't have any stickers as such. I must get some, but I do have these and I really haven't done very much with them. So on the back, they're black, but if you turn them this way, they are holographic and they there's, there's silver ones and there's gold ones. So. I'm thinking this one. I know it's probably a little bit big, but I like the way it mimics the shape of my, my mould with the little points. So I'm probably going to go with that one. Um, but then I thought, oh, it's quite big. So then I thought, oh, I've got some smaller ones. But um, see, see, see these ones are gold. Can you see the difference? Um, but yeah, I've got, I've got lots of them. Um, there's moons. There's more of these suns got butterflies more butterflies <laughs> more butterflies these are for bigger molds like mountain scapes there's sea creatures and I've got some flowers I just got these actually from Etsy um, so yeah, there's there's a lot in there, but I think I'm gonna do that one. So what I need to do, and I've got my resin sitting. Um, it's it's just warming. Well, actually, at the moment it's in the vacuum chamber. It's just it's just sitting there, waiting for me. Um, and I am going to wait until it gets to 35 degrees, which is probably going to be about half an hour because it's only 21 degrees in my studio at the moment it's pretty chilly pretty chilly so these are on um, a plastic backing so I'm gonna just sort of trim a little bit I won't I won't do the whole thing in front of you but I'm just gonna kind of trim a little bit so that you don't see too much of that clear plastic if you wanted to do black you could certainly do it that way and put the black face down um, but I'm going to put the the silver holographic side down oh gosh maybe I should do the black oh gosh now I'm now I'm second guessing myself because the silver might not show up as well you know I'll have to have a think about it anyway um, I'm going to keep trimming this my resin is the let's resin four hour fast cure that I'm going to use today and uh, as soon as it gets to 35 degrees Celsius, um, I will decant it and uh, drop my inks. Now, the inks I'm using today are these, just these cheapies. I've got a few boxes of these. These are Deco-Rom, D-E-C-O-R-R-O-M. Got them from um, Amazon. They're only cheapies, but I find that they spread nicely. Some of the more highly concentrated inks, you drop them and they just kind of stay in the little dot. They don't spread. So I'm going to go with these. I've got turquoise, forget-me-not, and navy. Because when I look at this, I don't know if you can see, it sort of picks up some blues and greens. Well, I am in two minds about using the black side now. Oh, gosh. <gasps> I'm just going to have to do one with holographic and then a different one with black, aren't I? And then when my white comes, we'll do white. But today, that's what we're doing. Um, I am still testing my white pigment paste. So I'll, details will come later on. Once, once I'm happy that um, it works well for everything that I want to do, I'll tell you about it later. So I'm going to wait for my resin and cut this out. I'll be right back. Okay, so it has been 30 minutes. So let's just take its temperature. I've been checking it. <laughs> I started checking it at 20 minutes. So I wanted to get somewhere between sort of 33, 35. And I'll show you what that is in Fahrenheit in a minute. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah. 
Go, 33. Okay, so in Fahrenheit, it is 91.4. Okay, so something like that. Right, so as you can see, I've decided to do my little foil with um, the holographic side down. I'm just going to clean this off with, spray it with some alcohol. I've got to clean it, pop it away again. All right, so yeah, I've just decided to do that. Now, I know that you're going to, on the other side, when you unmold this, you're going to have the... Um, the foil there but I think that's better than putting down a layer of resin and then trying to put the foil on it it's just going to float away I think <laughs> so yeah I've just decided to do it this way um, look it's something that if you had a sticker and you wanted to put it on after you demold it there's absolutely no reason why you can't do that as well you don't have to put it in now. You can add it to a piece that you've already done. <laughs> That's fine too. All right. Now, let's just give this a light torching. So that took 30 minutes in my studio, which is pretty cold. It's only 21 degrees Celsius at the moment. We're in winter. Now, before I do anything else, I want to go through and just make sure that I don't have any bubbles clinging to the sides because little pesky bubbles do like to do that just flick them into the middle if you see them if they're tiny it's not really going to worry me but if they're big I'd rather them come out now I'll be a bit forceful with them I think you can see that the resin's quite thick already. It starts off pretty thick, but we're just waiting for it to get to a little bit thicker. Um, and that 33 degrees. When I'm using different resins, um, I take it up to different temperature. So you can't just say any resin is, you know, 33, but with the one-to-one -one resins, I've found that um, I only need to go to 33, whereas with the 2 to 1 resins, like a Platinum 360 Plus, I do need to go to about 40. And I can put three drops of my navy in there. Get out, navy. Oh, it doesn't matter. All right, and then forget me not. I'll go around with that. And you can see how nicely the Deco Rom spreads may put some more on we'll see and then got a little bubble there oops it's popped <laughs> popped itself don't um don't torch your alcohol inks not straight away anyway because obviously it's alcohol and you know it will flame up so if you're going to torch wait till it's had a chance to the alcohol's had a chance to evaporate off and then do it Okay, so there are my colours, and that's perfectly fine. Now, we need to just wait, okay? Let the inks move, do what they want to do. Don't go piping straight away because the inks are still moving, and you'll find that the, the inks will distort your piping that you've just done because the inks are moving. It'll make your white move as well, so don't do that just yet. I've got my piping bag in there, and I've got 30 grams of the same clear resin in there. I waited till it got to the 33 degrees. I put some in there, put the rest in there. So I'm going to go with my, my white. And because I've got 30 grams, I'm doing three drops. One, two, three. And I love the bottle because I can just twist it closed like that. Wipe the top off. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. No cutting the nib off of some bottles that you squeeze and squeeze and nothing comes out. How frustrating is that? You guys know, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? All right, let's just give this a nice stir. Try not to incorporate too much air into it as you're stirring. Now, a lot of people say to me, do you have to use white? No, you don't. You can put... Um, 
maybe a drop of pink or purple alcohol ink into your white and pipe with that and you'd have really pretty colours as well. So I'm just going to give these a bit of a, a bit of a swirl just to incorporate some of the blue into the green and a little bit of green into the blue. I think that'll be enough and then a little bit of this darker blue into that lighter blue as well. Well, you're probably not going to see much of that dark blue because the resin moves from the outside in. So you probably won't see a lot of it. <gasps> All right. Okay. Now, um, i better just give that a quick little torch because I can see some air bubbles in there. Make sure that it's nice and incorporated. I've got a black stick here so I can show you the colour. Now, because the resin's quite thick, it's leaving a big mound. But um, it is still transparent. But the thick resin <laughs> leaves a thick mound and it's a bit difficult to see, but you can still see the stick through there. Okay, so that's it. Um, I better get a wriggle on and get this piping done. Pour that into there. I'm just going to draw some petals today. I've been doing a lot of the spirals and then, you know, pulling the stick through to make my pattern. But let's, let's do something more traditional today. Let's pipe some petals. I'm just going to write down the time that I've done this. It is 10.50. 10 to 11 in the morning. All right, here we go. feels warm. doesn't feel hot. It just feels like... Warm, probably about similar to body temperature, really. Okay, I'm just going to snip about that much off. Away from your mould, though. <laughs> you don't want a bit of plastic flying into your mould. Tuck that under there. You don't want that drooping over. All right. Okay, it's probably a little bit big, that hole, but anyway. All right, let's go. Um, I'm gonna, just going to start with some petals and I'm going to start at the outside first just to see what it's going to look like. Normally I start in the middle but I want to see what it looks like if you start on the outside and then you know things overlap differently don't they? I might do another row between these two actually. Yeah, just want to see what happens, basically. Let's do some more. Let's just go crazy. And do some more. Try not to touch your edge of the mould when you're doing this. Okay, I think that's enough. And just because you've got it there doesn't mean you need to use it all. Okay. I'm just going to... I'm not going to really see the centre because of that foil, but I'm just going to try and break up those little blobs. The only issue with like doing it like this, you go up, you come down, there's a, you stop, there's a blob. So then you leave again and then this, so in the centre, like where you stop and start, there's can be a little bit blobby. Give that a nice little torch. I am going to just swirl in the middle though, just because I think it looks nicer. And you might be able to see the center through the other side, I'm not sure. Actually, I didn't really do that very centered, did I? Come down a little bit, Julie. There we go, that'll do. Yeah, I don't think you'll really see that over the, um, on the other side, through the foil, but we shall see. We shall see. There's a little bit of a blob there. If you see a big blob, just try and smooth it out. But, you, you know, you can't do too much because then you're going to disrupt your patterns that you've got there. Now, I am going to get my little heat gun and I'm just going to give it a little bit of heat just because it's cold in here. I'm going to push it a little bit from the sides. Give it a bit of a push. I 
probably don't need to, but just like to help it out sometimes when it's a bit chilly. All right, just that. Okay, now we'll see. We have to wait and see now what happens. Just unplug that. All right, I'm going to get you down for a bit of a close up. Is that something in there? Gosh, it's always something. <laughs> All right. Uh, hopefully this will look pretty. <laughs> Let's get you down. Have a closer look. So it's blooming on the outside there. Can't really see too clearly on the inner that's just all a big jumble of colour at the moment. But you can see there, those outer ones are blooming. Let's see if we can find an inner one. There's an inner one. And in the middle, well, we don't know what it's doing in there. But it doesn't matter because we're only going to see what's on the outside of that little holographic foil there. So, yeah, I'll just leave it like that. It'll keep moving for the next, I don't know, half an hour or so. And uh, I'll come back to you and we'll do a top coat, okay? So see you soon. It's been a few hours and it is touch dry. I'm a bit concerned. This area here looks as if it's moved. I don't know why. The only difference is that in this corner, well, this little spot here, um, a drop of ink was touching the edge um, and there's no ink touching any of the other ed edges. I don't know if it's got anything to do with it, but it looks as if it's all kind of moved that way. So I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we'll see. I'm expecting there to be like a big hole, <laughs> a big hole in the middle. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I've mixed up some um, marine blue. Look how gorgeous that is. It's really pretty. It's by Lorez Expressions. And when I was thinking of my colours, I just sort of think about the darker sort of tone in there. Obviously, I don't want to put teal because there's a lot of teal there already. So I'm picking up the blue and uh, we'll go with that. Um, I do want to spray just a little bit of alcohol. I don't mind spraying with alcohol now because I'm not going to be doing my bloom. But I wouldn't spray with alcohol beforehand because every little thing makes your blooms go all out of shape or helter kelter as you can see in this corner I, I have no idea why it's done that but it has maybe when I was spraying some alcohol to do my cleaning maybe like a drops blown over here and landed there and then made everything whoosh off to the side I don't know. Anyway, I'm hoping I'm hoping it'll be okay. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to do it again. <laughs> Alright, I think that's into all the little points now. And I've got a tiny bit left, so I might as well use it up. I just didn't want to overflow it, first of all. So this is the Platinum 360 Plus. Um, it sets up nice and quick so I can unmold it later on today. And I did 75. 5 grams of A and 32 grams of B and that pretty much fills that up all right so that's it that is me done and uh, I will see you all again in a few hours for the grand unmolding but um, yeah I'm, I'm not feeling very positive about it all resin projects don't always go to plan, do they? Even though we try, we do the same thing over and over. Sometimes they just don't work. <laughs> All right. I'll, um, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so it's set. Uh, after a couple of hours, when it had stopped moving and it was solid enough for me to pick up, I took it over and put it in my Let's Resin curing machine. So it's still warm. And because it's warm, it's bendy, but it, it is set. So... Let's get it out. I am worried though 
that um, it hasn't worked. But I want to see like what the holographic little sticker thing is going to do. So, well, not sticker, little foil thing. A little bit of overflow. And a couple of areas. Get off. Okay, so anyway, we'll just have to hope for the best. I will link, oh gosh, there's some holographics <laughs> on my mould. <gasps> it's stuck to my mould. I'll have to see if I can get that off with my baby wipe. All right, let's have a look. Are we ready? Cross your fingers for me that it's worked because I'm not very confident. Oh. oh, it worked. I was worried for nothing. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. This was the area here that I was worried about. Like, you know, it's got a little bit of movement there, but probably if I hadn't have told you, you wouldn't have known. Oh my gosh. What do you think? Probably could have gone a bit darker with my background, like a, a navy blue. But um, yeah, it's it's all very sort of tranquil. And you can see there that holographic center, can't you? It's picking up like a myriad of colors. When I tilt it that way, I just see silver. And then when I go this way, it gets a lot of sort of purpley reds. And then that way I see more yellow and orange. Oh my gosh, I'm so relieved, you guys. I was panicking. I thought, oh my God, I'm going to have to do it again. That is so cool. What do you think? I love it. Just a cute little idea, hey? Now, I haven't got too bad with my, um, my bubbles either. I think that looks pretty good. Now, the other thing you can do, which I think might be nice, actually, is just to edge it with silver, to pick up the silver in the centre, Let's do that, shall we? Where's my silver pen? Uh, yeah, that's it. I've got two. Um, this one's got the big sort of round nib and then that one's got the squarish nib. Maybe the squarish one might be easier to do. Uh, chrome marker. Let's get you down a bit closer so that you can see what I'm doing. Oops, I should shake it first got a little ball in it and you need to just make sure that the little ball's moving and getting a good shake 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 all right let's see what this is going to look like and uh, where will I start yeah so yep that seems to be easy with the um the square nib because I can put the edge of the I've got putty under my fingernails <laughs> um you can put this the edge of the um mold not the mold the resin like the edge just in the middle of that nib there oh my gosh don't go down okay take your time around we go and of course it's up to you how thick or thin you want to do it i'm just doing a little thin edge for now uh, you can always go over it if you wanted a thicker line afterwards but I just think a little thin edge is all you need just for that little hint of of color um, obviously if you put one of the gold foils on there um, you know you'd want to edge it with gold well, I would anyway but look I have got lots of those little foils as you saw so watch this space <laughs> there'll be more coming because I need to use them up and I don't really know what to do with them I bought heaps. I got carried away because I, I just thought, oh, that design. Oh, and the butterflies. Oh, oh, and the and the sea life. And oh, and the sun. And then, like, you know what it's like. You get carried away, and then you end up buying way more than you ever thought you were going to. And then you think, oh, my God, what am I going to do with all of these now? But um, I think, yeah, putting them in in a mold would be a good idea. I just have to go and check that it's going to actually come off my silicon mold um, otherwise the other thing you can do is you know pour a little bit of resin into your mold um, and let that let that go tacky um, and then stick your sticker down 
I keep calling it a sticker. We'll just call it a sticker, okay? It's a foil, metallic foil. I'm having trouble with this corner. I'm talking too much. Um, so, yeah, you could put a bit of resin down first, then drop your foil, um, and then, you know, carry on with your 3D bloom after that. That way it's not going to stick to your silicon mould. Ta-da! It's done! All right, let's see what that looks like. Put my little step back. There you go. There we go. I know the ring lights are kind of annoying, but you can see the silver edge there. Uh, now, to make it a little bit more silver, you can go, once that has dried, I've got a bit of stuff on it, once it's dried, you can go around with a second coat. It's probably a good idea to just to go around with a second coat just to make that a little bit thicker for you. But there you go. Let me know what you think of it. Let me just put it over here for a sec. And um, let's see if this comes out, it comes off. Oh yes, <laughs> I was worried for nothing. <laughs> oh gosh. got to be really careful when you're wiping your silicon moulds because if you wipe it like with a dry cloth um, you will end up smudging it. I never wipe it with a dry cloth um, and you don't want to like smear it with your fingers either otherwise you will leave finger marks but um, I just sort of as you saw just wipe it with a, a wet baby wipe and then you can just dab it or you can you know just let it air dry. So there you go. It came off beautifully. All right. So good to know. Good to know, isn't it? All right. Let's have a look in some different light in the studio. As I always do, just kick my little step out of the way. Oh my gosh, you guys, the relief. I'm so glad that it's worked. Oh, let's pick it up. All right. Here we go. Oh gosh, I need to zoom out a bit more. Hang on, hang on. Um, there we go. You were on one and a half. <laughs> My arms weren't long enough. <laughs> All right, here we go. So that way, if you just look at it that way, it basically just looks silver. And then you can pick up that little bit of green and a bit of purple. And then obviously if you turn it, tilt it that way towards the light, you're picking up more colors. So you're just basically getting like a whole rainbow of colors, aren't you? It's really pretty. Now, what do you think of my actual petals? The, the design that I did. Not bad, hey? So they're quite thin. They're like, actually, they look like feathers, don't they? Look at those edge ones. They look like feathers. Hey, Spence. What you doing, buddy? Hello. <laughs> Hello, little man. Hello. You all right? <laughs> okay. He's always watching me. So anyway, there we go. Um, I won't keep you too much longer. I'm just going to, there's my little step that I stand on. And then I can look into my screen. Come up here. Photobomb. Yes, you. Photobomber. I hear more footsteps. Izzy, where are you? Photo bomber. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, get back to this. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of it. And um, yeah, I will certainly do do more. And I have no idea why my bloom moved. I can only assume that I dropped some alcohol in it somewhere. All right. Thanks for watching. I will see you all again real soon. It is dinner time for the puppy dogs. Go and feed them. And then, 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 I want to have another crack at the dragon flower. So we'll see how I go with that, hey? All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I love, love, love the way it's turned out. And uh, thanks again to sunfire designs don't forget to check her videos out on youtube she's doing some really amazing work all right thanks for watching you guys see you all real soon bye for now